Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your fourth HTML5 form styling tutorial and in this video we're going to style up our text inputs. Okay, so this is where we're up to so far. This form is starting to look a lot more customised now. And in this video we're going to style up this field set right here and also these input boxes. Now, these input boxes have a type of email and phone okay so you can see type equals email and type equals phone uh, telephone so now what we need to do is target those two in the css and style them up a little bit differently but before we do that what i want to do is target the field set and the legend and just style that a bit better as well so i'm going to say field set then in here what i want to say is padding about 20 pixels all the way around and a margin also of about 20 pixels, top and bottom, zero left and right. Then I'm also gonna change the border to three pixels solid, and then a 222, which is like a, a charcoal gray color. So it's gonna be a bit lighter than our background here. Okay, cool, so that's looking a bit better. Now let's style up this legend to match these P tags a little bit. So we'll say legend, and we're gonna give that a padding of 10 pixels, just to give it a bit of breathing room around here and then we'll also say font size is going to be 18 pixels and the letter spacing is going to be 0.1 m's as well just to give it a bit more space in between each letter so let's save that okay cool now that matches these a little bit more so let's style up these things right here now the way i want to do this is first of all give them a charcoal gray background put them on separate lines, and then finally, I want to give each one a background image. I want to give this one a background image of some kind of envelope, and then this one of a little telephone icon. So let's start styling these dudes. So we'll say input, and then remember, the type was equal to email, and also the type was equal to telephone. So input again, and type is equal to telephone. All right. Now then, first thing I want to do is display both of these as block. Then I'm going to give them a margin bottom of about 20 pixels. So let's save that and see what it looks like. Now, they're on each separate line. That's cool. Next, I want to say the padding is going to be around 10 pixels to the top, 10 pixels to the right, 10 at the bottom, and then 50 pixels on the left. And that is just going to make room for this image which is going to sit here, the envelope and the phone. So let's give them a border of zero. We want to take a border away and we want to say a border radius of about four pixels. And that's going to just give this corner, this corner and every other corner just a slight curve so it's less harsh. Okay, you can see that little curve there, pretty cool. All right, next I want to give it that background of the image. So that image is the input one right here. We can see the little uh, black icon there for the envelope and the black phone as well. So let us do that by saying background is gonna be URL, then it's image forward slash, and it was inputs.png. And I'm gonna set that to no repeat as well. Okay, save that. All right, cool. Now we want to set the background color of this input field. And by the way, you see that white one there, that little white envelope. You can barely see the black one, but the white one underneath. We're going to use that when we come to do our little validation trick. Okay, so if you go to this image, you can see the black one. And you can probably barely see it, but there's a little white envelope there and a little white phone there. So we're going to use those later. Anyway, for now, let's just set a background color to these input fields. So we'll say background hyphen color. And that's going to be 222, the same as the border around here. Cool. And then what we want to do is set the font size a little bit larger. So we'll say font size is going to be 16 pixels. And we also want to give it a different color. We'll say FFF. Now, that color is not going to change this color right here. This is like a little gray color. And that is because we have a placeholder in each one. You see the placeholder there, email and phone number. That's this thing and this thing. And when you click it and start typing, that's going to go away and it's going to be replaced by your text. And that text that we write here, that is what is being controlled by this color thing right here. So if we save it now, then we should see that color to uh, turn to white. Cool. 
So now what do we need to do? We need to change the location of these background images so that this one shows the kind of charcoal envelope and this one shows the charcoal phone right there. So let's do that. Let's grab this one first of all and change the background position of this. So we'll say background hyphen position and I'm going to set that equal to seven pixels along the X coordinate and eight pixels down along the Y coordinate. So save that and now we can see that little envelope in the middle there. That looks nice. And let's do the same thing for the telephone. So we'll paste that there and we'll change this to telephone. And we're going to keep the X coordinate the same at seven. And then this is going to be minus 58 pixels. So it's going to move it right up the strip and it's going to show that phone. Cool. So there we go. We have now styled our two text input fields or rather the email input field and the phone number input field. And we're going to do our validation for this in the last video down there. Okay. Before we do that, we're going to move on in the next tutorial and style up this select box right there and the button.